I wonder if the prelates is, is actually living around here. Uh, there are guards in front of the house. We are official, on official business get called James. Placing a hand on his weapon, one of the guards shot back. On whose authority? On the authority of Prince of Grondor, James said, matter of uh, faculty. And we were sent by the priest of the temple, Kahuli. Apparently satisfied with this answer, the guards moved aside and let them pass. You shall not pass. Okay, there's lots of guards. There were strange markings on the door. James studied the symbols with questioning eye, then knocked loudly. The man who came to the door introduced himself as prelate of the temple of Kahuli. I am not well liked by the plain ones, he said. They do not understand the supreme justice of my actions. Those who break the rule of law must suffer the divine consequences of their behavior. The prelate went on tell them of his experiences while trying to become a prelate of the codes of piety. So strictly enforced of the local temple, nodding politely, James asked, what can you tell us uh, of these codes? Recognizing their interest, he countered the question with the honor his own. If you would to make a donation to the temple, say 50 sorrows, I think I could be persuaded to reveal them to you. Will you pay? Yes. The temple of Kahuli thanks you. Now, please follow me and I shall teach you codes of piety. The prelate led them into a small room. He stood before, behind a makeshift altar and spoke, sometimes ranted about the great god, holy warrior, god of vengeance, unravel of mysteries of, into truth. They listened without much interest until at least he began to speak up, up of the pious gods. Subjugation of the will, he began. None shall be considered the true follower Kahuli without first uh, renouncing all ties to king and country. Well, that's going to be a difficult thing for James. James glanced about the room nervously as he prelate continued. Mortification of the flesh, none shall be allowed entry to the temple of Kahuli until they have cleansed themselves of all appetites of the flesh to purify themselves, and for intervention of, of Kahuli's will, and finally subordination of service. None shall do service to Kahuli without first proving their loyalty. Okay, this, this is going through. Well, by passing the water curtain and praying to Kahuli for the full cycle of the seasons. He continued his sermon for nearly an hour, but revealed little of interest. At last he was finished and they were allowed to leave. Okay, so what we need to do is do this. Yep. There it goes. Starving 5%. James stumbled, cursing all at that seemed far more appropriate with the hollow temple walls. He followed the priest robed in a light grey. Behind him, Owen and Gorat seemed similarly pained, but all made it well enough to the lector's study. Passing their way into the oak paneled room, they took their seats and waited. In a few moments, the lector arrived, uh, arrayed his dark robes uh, of office. Looking at all their faces, he noted with a certain grim satisfaction, You have chosen the mortification of the flesh, he said. An admirable act of piety, it is enough. Good. Now, then tell me about the guilt of assassins. In a moment, snapping back the door, he whispered the priest who waited outside. Footsteps hurried off in the, uh, in the distance. Hasten will bring rations for you. You will be a little use against Navan and his band without your strength. James sat forward in his can. Nav Navan who? Navan to Shandau, the lector said. I know, no, there was something suspicious about him. The lector said, emphasizing each syllable. 
he lives here, Kenting Rush poses as a traveling merchant that gives him the excuse he needs to cover the strange visitors he has from time to time. He leads the night hawks, but the time has come for the end of the Guild of Assassins. Agreed, same set, bobbing to his feet. We appreciate your help. Wait, the lector leveled uh, a stare at them. As Kahuli has come to your aid, as protectors of the faith, you must aid us. It is your responsibility now to slay him. His, uh, his, his excommunicate of the temple Kahuli, his life is forfeit. You didn't mention this uh, in the bargaining before, James said. Shall we be expecting other demands of you later? The priest shook his head. Only this. You may do as you please thereafter, though. I would warn you always, thread carefully from this day forth when dealing with the Kahuli. You are now in our eyes. The arm of the tireless pursuer. But we really can't can't go anywhere without without actually improving these armors. So two, these, two, these two armors need a upgrade, well blessing and then we need like couple armors for the for the Locklear friends. I had not expected to see you. Let's communicate. On the behalf of the Temple of Kahuli, I inform you that you are no excommunicate. They formerly have renounced their ties to the Guild of Assassins and will announce the identities of all who belong to it. The Night Hawks are finished, Navon. Despite their request, I, to, I, uh, to request I murder you, I will let you live if you tell me where can I can find the mortal communiques concerning the attack. A lie, Signor, and you know it. You'll have my guts for killing these men in Romney, whatever I tell you or not. Since you first arrived looking for the Nighthawks, I have been watching you. For years I heard tales about Jimmy the Hand from the men who surveyed your Nighthawk purchase in Krondor. They told very impressive tales about you. Now it's time to see if you can put much a true Nighthawk in combat. But he's only a one guy. Okay, he made, made a bad man move. Fetters of Rhyme. Seventy-one percent is already okay. Pretty easy to kill a guy who is well frozen. Although he's pretty pretty bad there still. Pretty badass. Taking a lot of damage. Or he has pretty good armor. That that might be it. Okay. Such a boss fight. <laughs> Cellar key. Yes, please. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. He has lots of interesting stuff. Never, I'm concerned of Pycorn Corval's interesting patrols in the area. I think he will soon discover the entrance behind the waterfall. Hmm, I know you. Wait, wait. Walk through the waterfall. Okay, I know you don't credit him with much intelligence, but his patrol might accidentally follow up one of the Dedekhan's envoys. Please return south of the Caval Keeps as soon as possible. Good to know. Diamond. That's uh, flame root oil. So, this is great for this pretty badass. 
Yeah, definitely early Thrasil mod is elf, but it's still pretty badass. 25 strength, skill. This is even more. I think this is would be like good good weapon for the Locklear to chase. Because because why why not? But goes with the wagon that doesn't benefit the wagon, but the wagon cannot move without noise. At, at least I... Okay, there's an emerald. That's something we actually need. Yeah, lots of clerical cloths. Yeah, pretty full with, with everything. Passed from the father to son, and shared between brothers. Its importance is unquestioned, to it used more by others. Family, uh, no. No, get name. I'm getting suspicious because game is kind of giving us lots of lots of things to protect us. Okay, so this is pretty useful. Dragonstone. So, dragon stone, is it armor or weapons? Okay, it's, it's sword. Sword en enhancement. Might be useful, it, it still has four, four times to use. But maybe from the south side. Oh, that that's big mountain over there. So I'm not too sure. Do we get there? I mean, I mean that's like end of game area, kind of. Ah, it's, a, it's an illusion, huh? <laughs> Developers have been like, yep. Have fun, guys, figuring this out. Uh, I mean, I think this is, that's not something they have done in this game many times. Uh, it's a trap, and it's a troll trap. Trap with trolls. For defense. This is why I don't throw this this away. Okay, they, they can't move. Uh, look later you go. Ah, uh, it's it's a it's 
going to be a mess. Yeah, let's try Feathers of Rhyme. What was that miss? Okay. Skyfire. Okay, doesn't work. Make it, maybe they are elusive, elusive uh, trolls or something. Rest a bit. And to then push forward. Ah, that what that one actually broke the. Trap itself. Ouch. That hurt. Luckily, we can, we can recharge our hit points and stamina here. It's a, it's a, it's a duel. Step, step. Some, some, some kind of secret place, basically. Have a nothing, and he had gold. Well, that's a, that's a interesting looking place. Ale cask. Lost lots of ale. Ale cask, more ale. I wonder if this this is like part of some side quest. Yeah, this is definitely part of some side quest. Road of the world. So we are now heading north, um, trying to get to High Castle. We haven't haven't been here before, so let's not sleep here. Let's not sleep here. Okay, it's going to be a battle. Thank you. 
Ouch. James. Fetish of Rhyme. Yeah, you can throw the two wizards. That's so ouch. Ninety one, ninety four. Oh dear. some chance and Jimmy is in a really 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 bad shape that's over 100 damage now on Jimmy I'll take that nine points of health left oh, that was quite a ambush but then again they had like two two mages so yeah Okay, mages are apparently weak. Okay, that was quite a fight. It's a hole in the ground. The armor. So we are probably one wanting to go this way. Okay. Spoiled. D dead elf. And spoiled rations. He's dead. He doesn't have anything on. Maybe they are just bad. Bad scouts. 125. Wow. That's, that's, uh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Then we are using the practice loot. Practice makes a master. Now click. One hundred and twenty times this loot. Much better practice loot, by the way, than actual, actual any any other loot we might find. So this is maybe. It's a bit difficult way, but at the first chapter we could have come this way. Well, I wonder if this guy is here in the first chapter. Two hours later. Well, that sounds a pretty, pretty clear. Warding 100%, 46 and... and Kostarak started like a couple percent, starting 65. These are pretty good. 
that was pretty, pretty, pretty wizard. Not warden. So, uh, there's 900 to improve this, so that's, yeah, we, we can afford like one, that's sort of kinner. Signor, I would talk to with you, but I'm not entirely comfortable with the mortar presence. If you could step out of the room, I will be waiting at the antique chamber. This will take a few minutes. Change, what do you know about experimental projects that have we, we have going on here at North Warden? Very little. I believe Prince mentioned that you had discovered explosive powder similar to naphtha, but I don't know much beyond that. Our powder is similar to NAFTA, yes, but many times stronger. With, two, with a portion that would scarcely fill my hand, we can rain 200 pound iron balls into enemy forces. It would, be, it would destroy everything it hit. Unfortunately, it takes a team of 10 men a uh, half hour to reload the weapon, and as yet its accuracy is not such that I would wish to count upon it. In battle, in many years, it's possible it will uh, be a weapon of monstrous power, but we will, we will first have to learn how to master it. Like Greek fire, it will be a great contribution to Kingdom's arsenal. Yes, and it would be even greater contribution to Delakhan. What I haven't told you is that 30 of Northwarden's peaks have been stolen over the past six months. Spy peaks. Uh, pigs, I don't understand what the missing pigs have to do with anything. Pig urine is principal component of formulation of the powder and our swine can survive the Northland cold. If someone in the castle has leaked the formula then they may well be attempting to build up the stock of their own experience. Any signs of increase? We can actually substantiate Pinch's other stuff feared that mortal plan to attack a few of my scouts slipped into the rack lamb, discovered catapult and several siege engines under construction. Any number of fake American mercenaries have already already arrived in town, though none of and none yet know where they are being sent. It seems that the native mortal have adapted an attitude of wait and see how the battle is going before committing it like a strike force. Kratos as much, they run against Zetan and apparently left a bad taste in the mouths of the murder clans and this Delacan doesn't have a merman there's silver tongue. He's ha had to bully several of the clans into joining though. Few of the larger clans have sworn to withhold their support with until Delacan proves himself. I'm not so much concerned about Kagans in the battle as I'm the, uh, the possibility of Mordor may cook up something unexpected. They start the like a circle of advisors known as the Six, magicians of some order. I don't release the thought of running against some of the tricks that Murmanda was pulled during the battle that destroyed Armengar. Duke Martin has been telling me about it. So I understand he was uh, absent before the uh, final assault began. So Armin Guard was this barbarian mountain up the north, but that was fighting the uh, elves. Duke Martin is here. He arrived on the social visit shortly before your friend. I was the Huntsmaster course when he, he was still working uh, for the Duke of Shrydy, and he recommended me to this post, growing person Rosal Death. When your friend arrived from the Grondor with news of another possible attack, he decided to stay and help whoever 
he could here until Prince Arthur advises him further. Right now, he and Senior Locklear are leading the small scouting expedition into the high hills. So, what about his magic problem? Are you going to hire any magicians? Long ago, I said the wisdom that Duke Boric displayed to having Kulkan a bug in his duchy. It was one of the first things I did. Uh, I assume command here. Since he felt uncomfortable here for some reason, Patrus is off working on the few tricks of his own to counter any mortal spellcraft. Who is charge of guards here? I would be interested to, to sp in speaking of him. But guards are, are hard at work. If you speak to the guards, I can arrange you to walk to uh, walk court to the senior. O otherwise, I will not have their schedule disturbed. As I have returned Arnon uh, to put you on, on the night watch. Yes, sort marbles. When I do I start? So he's guarding now. I would be most interested to know why you felt it necessary to have me awakened in the middle of night. It would have been preferable if you had come when I called. Your cards are utterly inadequate, Baron. Last night, well, as I was on guard duty, I decided to bury the schedule a bit and see what happened. When I watched the Bailey gate, when I was on the other side of the castle, I noticed a sort of sli slipping an oath to another man who was fighting outside castle gate. A few minutes later, when I shifted to the opposite side again, I saw another instance of somebody attempting to steal, steal a grief maker from the castle armory. I stopped him naturally, there were several other instances. And the note pressed, pressed to the bailey gate. Harmless, a love letter from the soldier quartered here named Corby and a girl named Thea. James is the man. Uh, you have begun regimented here, your schedules are known outside the castle, very likely main known by the spy working within uh, within these very walls. I urge to take greater precautions and to reevaluate your staff. It could be the downfall of this castle. I shall consider it. In the meantime, I, ask you, I accept to accept something, a token of credit. There's a suit of helico armor that I was no longer have need for. You may have to, it, you've, it makes no difference to me. Because they were they were clues about their their base location, starting from the suspicious uh, burning of the Caval Keep. Which we didn't visit, but we'll visit now. Ah, and there's a trap. Surprise. Uh, so, um, yep. That's that's okay. Oh, we... that, that that was simple. Leaning the way Owen turned down the short path, his steps becoming mo more hurried as the faint his grew in the bounding torrent of sound. At last, they found themselves standing before the sparkling fo fo uh, waterfall. Bring out the Golden Bay. Uh, I wonder what, what is it? doing Let, let's check plus 15 scouting he 
yeah, he, he, they definitely need a bit of, bit of that. Bit of, bit of help. A bit of light. Enter. Another cascade it over them. Sloshing to the thundering cordon of uh, water. They flung themselves down uh, on a wet stone slab which lay behind the waterfall. Let strands of hair dancing be before their eyes. They looked around a uh, new surroundings. A door was set into the face of the rock. And the other side, empty iron brazier was bolted to the door's frame. At the to the right side, there was a small darkened niche. Stamped stood uh, take, to take a closer look at the mysterious hole, discovering the chessboard. Looks like someone was getting ready to play a, a match, but they were missing a piece. If it doesn't occur to you, you are as thick as stop. James nodded, collecting the knight's piece they had acquired from the well of Kenting Rush, setting it in the missing place. He grinned in the satisfaction as the door swung open. If that's, it isn't the invitation, I have never seen one. Shall we? So what we are looking for is... Papers, please. Ah, uh, there's... Spiders. Better of rhyme. Korath is killing them by, by one shot. Oh, Jimmy is killing them as well. They don't have armor. And they, they, they don't have anything. Even Venom. It was Skyrim who had like spiders at Venom. But no, not, not in this game. Two, two corridors. Dead body. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy, the hand is the man. Oops. <laughs> it did well. I was mistakenly logging it again. Okay, so I can actually train the log picking by this way. Okay. So, um, James, you go there. Because I'm going to like blast, blast the stuff up.
here that we are. Having our health accept is not, not a great thing. And I forget to, yeah. <laughs> Friendly the fire. Good, good thing they are not great. Great with the bow. <laughs> oh, we got to kill. Uh, doesn't matter in this game though, but yeah. Pathfinding is some, sometimes a bit, bit funny in this game. Oh no, yeah. Why are those guys... I should have cast final rest. No, that's, that's not it. So who died first? That one, yeah, probably. Okay, finally. That was annoying. We don't we don't need to use that much, but yeah, when it happens, it happens. Okay. Many leg trouble. And beast. Ten troll strength, ten troll's length, one troll can pick it up, no troll can stand it up. Four letters. R O Roll. About journey. Translation of agent account of travels of Abbot from Malacross. Sword Corn as Karda Revenge. Cursed blade which was often associated with the mortal. Shortly before the end of the journal, he related Curse Tale, so I came to the Apple Killian. 
stood in the western fringe of the forest of Eldhel. Uh, so named Elvendar, and they were shown fairy crest of those face better runes, which are common in the Eleven and Modern King. A certain father then turned the strange cylinders which were on the face of the chest, forming the world unfamiliar to me, glamour red hell, but on which drew open the latches, which bound the closed lid of the box. From the uh, within he brought finally jeweled hilt, which he got the Keida. This father then told me it had come from a ruin of an ancient place, and since there was much misfortune came unto the abbey, and they willed it, it should be returned to the, for its eternal rest. He also told the other thing strange and wondrous legend saying the spell had been bound into a shell that would repair the blade within. Long be broke away describing this shell as the mark with the uneven surface of this important lumps. So basically only a uh, clues about magical weapon of this game. I suppose this setup is okay. I click too fast. Let let check that again. Nighthawk awaited them, reaching inside the black folds of his tunic. He drew out something that gleamed on the gloom. But rather than launching forward, he snaked his hand uh, to his mouth and bit down, acting before James could realize what was he was doing. He just swallowed poison sense. James said, holding coconut pad, just as well. Say, say it was the trouble of killing him, coaching down to study the furring face of the Nighthawk. He, uh, a look of disgust twisted his feature. Fortunately, we already found the Navon and his key. I imagine it locks, unlocks the door just over there. Okay. Didn't, didn't want to be found alive or captured rather the rope we don't need rope right now so apparently you can get here before finding Navon if you find the chest piece maximum number of the saved games. This engulfing thing is a strange indeed. The greater it grows, the less you see darkness. Spider scurried out the open chest. Careful to avoid the miniature albino menaces, James snatched the fresh looking scroll out of the box and unrolled it on the floor. As his dark eyes darted across the page, his lips moved in an incantation of places, names, figures and dates. Northwarden, James whispered, the attack will con come at Northwarden very soon. But this is all wrong. What is it? What is it? 
Korath asks, so also pending to see the page. These figures, if Dela can take the force of this small to Northwarden, he hasn't a hope of taking the castle. Far too few soldiers, Baron Capat will mount him unless Dela can, can bring something serious to bear. What could be, what could the mortal have? Maybe the, maybe the Nighthawks have infiltrated the castle, Ovin said. Why else would they be so helpful that mortal, mortal unless they're on next way on the line too? Paling James suddenly snatched the ink horn from his back and began to scribble the adenin to the Nighthawk note. It is very important that this note reads Arthur, although you were not taught this. He has stationed an army outside of Dinwood, and I write my word about the attack, James said, finishing his note. Fixing his gaze on Gorath, he han handled it finally, firmly all over. I want you to make sure it gets there. I'm going to have a time tr trust you, Oven Cap. But uh, what about I've got to go north warden. If there's a Nighthawks in Baron's castle, we stand Good, a ch good, a ch good chance of losing it in, in an attack. I have to ensure that doesn't happen. Remember, Arthur is outside of Dinwood Forest near Setanon. When you give him the note, tell him there's a party of at mothers. What? Owen spurted. Just do it. I haven't got time to explain. Good luck to both of you. In a moment, the senior was gone. His shadows chasing after him down the dark, dark tunnel. An hour later, Owen yawned expensively, his vision dim, going dim with each step taken further down the road. Next to him, Gorath trudged without complaint, his eyes fixed on the dusty cold track. Enough, enough, or Owen murmured. I think my legs are going to crumble. I, we can't reach out of the tonight. Let's stop for a while. Quiet. Gorath snapped. Seizing open by the arm, beneath his hood, his feral eyes glowed like a bar tingle emeralds. Someone's near. Abruptly, patches of darkness detached themselves from the woods, ambled in the pale moonlight, huddled onto the roadbed. In the shadows, iron points gleamed, aligned with deadly sights. Quiet. As much, uh, much as I would enjoy delivering you your carcass to Delacan, I will reserve the pleasure of your execution for him. Do not move, Gorath. You are completely surrounded. Marked for death. Fourth chapter. <laughs>